Welcome to um, this Heart of Worcestershire virtual event. My name is Bridget Robinson and I am the Industrial Placement Liaison Officer um, within the College. So this session I'm going to talk about T-levels, um, what they are and um, what the difference are, differences are between the different qualifications. So from September 2021 we will be doing two T-levels within the College. One will be with digital and one will be childcare um, and education. The T-level is a new technical qualification and it's being phased in across the country. It will become one of the main choices for post-16 uh, alongside the A-levels and the apprenticeships. It's equivalent to three A-levels um, over two years and it's been developed in collaboration with business and employers um, to ensure the content prepares learners for the workplace and meets industry needs. In total there's going to be 24 T-levels over the next four years gives you the opportunity to develop your employability skills at the same time as well as developing the technical skills that you're going to be learning at college. The skills and the knowledge will split into core and specialised units and both of those will, will be delivered over the first and the second year. T-levels will involve 80% of your time in the classroom or a specialised facility learning the theory and developing those practical skills. But the other 20% is going to be spent in the workplace, putting all of that into action. Um, and that's, that includes 45 days placement. So this enables you to get a true idea about what your industry um, entails. And um, that placement can be with up to two employers. And that will be over the two years. And it can be spread over one day a week. It can be a block, um, or it could be a combination of the two. How it's delivered depends on the industry that you're gonna be working in, the employer, but also yourselves. Um, one area that's a little different is early years um, because they have to do 750 hours work placement. It is unlikely that you're going to be paid on your placement, but support for travel would be um, generally available if it's really required. We've been doing 45 day placements within the college for the last couple of years and students have fed back really positively over it because they feel that they're, because they're being able to develop those skills, they're being able to put that onto their application forms and their curriculum vitae um, and showing the, um, showing the employers what they're capable of. So let's look at the two programmes available in September in a little bit more depth. Um, the first one is the digital production design and development and this is going to be aimed at learners who want to be digital software developers. The core content will be taught in year one um, and it looks at how digital designers and developers need to serve their customers, how they analyse the user needs, um, how they show an awareness of the legal and the ethical factors when they're developing software. The specialised specialized units um, will be within a an extended project whereby you le the learner needs to work with a specified user or user group and they're given a scenario, they have to analyse the problem and they have to design the solution and then they have to um, test and evaluate how effective that solution has been. The T-level in education and childcare will focus on the early years in the education and childcare subject specialism. There are 12 key elements to the core content and that will cover safeguarding, health, um, well-being, child development, observation and assessment and special educational needs. Um, while the specialisms will focus on supporting and promoting children's play, development of the early education and development of relationships with children to facilitate their development. If you're interested in finding out any information, any more information about either, either of the T-levels that we've talked about or T-levels in general, um, then feel free to join us on our open event. Um, it's a question and answer drop-in session, which will be live on Tuesday the 20th of October and Thursday the 22nd of October between 5.30 and 7pm. Thank you for making the time to join us and goodbye for now.